Brought to you by wikivd.com Sheryl Sandberg Sheryl Kara Sandberg is an American technology executive activist and author. She is the chief operating officer of Facebook and founder of LeanIn.org. In June 2012, she was elected to the board of directors by the existing board members becoming the first woman to serve on Facebook's board. Before she joined Facebook as its coup, Sandberg was vice president of global online sales and operations at Google and was involved in launching Google's philanthropic arm Google.org. Before Google, Sandberg served as chief of staff for United States Secretary of the Treasury Lawrence Summers. In 2012 she was named in the Time 100, an annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world according to Time magazine. Sandberg is reported to be worth over $1 billion due to her stock holdings in Facebook and other companies. Early Life and Education Sandberg was born in 1969 in Washington, D.C. to a Jewish family the daughter of Adele and Joel Sandberg and the oldest of three children. Her father is an ophthalmologist, and her mother was a college teacher of French language. Her family moved to North Miami Beach, Florida when she was two years old. She attended North Miami Beach High School where she was always at the top of her class and graduated ninth in her class with a 4.646 grade point average. She was sophomore class president, became a member of the National Honor Society, and was on the senior class executive board. Sandberg taught aerobics in the 1980s while in high school. In 1987 Sandberg enrolled at Harvard College. She graduated in 1991 summa cum laude phi beta kappa with a bachelor's degree in economics and was awarded the John H. Williams Prize for the top graduating student in economics. While at Harvard, she co-founded an organization called Women in Economics and Government. She met then-Professor Larry Summers who became her mentor and thesis advisor. Summers recruited her to be his research assistant at the World Bank where she worked for approximately one year on health projects in India dealing with leprosy, AIDS and blindness. In 1993 she enrolled at Harvard Business School and in 1995 she earned her rambar with highest distinction. In her first year of business school she earned a fellowship. Early career After graduating from business school in the spring of 1995, Sandberg worked as a management consultant for McKinsey. From 1996 to 2001 she again worked for Larry Summers, who was then serving as the United States Secretary of the Treasury under President Bill Clinton. Sandberg assisted in the Treasury's work on forgiving debt in the developing world. During the Asian financial crisis, when the Republicans gained the U.S. presidency in November 2000, Sandberg left her job. She then moved to Silicon Valley in 2001 and joined Google Inc., serving as its vice president of global online sales and operations from November 2001 to March 2008. She was responsible for online sales of Google's advertising and publishing products as well as for sales operations of Google's consumer products and Google Book Search. Facebook. In late 2007 Mark Zuckerberg, co-founder and chief executive of Facebook met Sandberg at a Christmas party held by Dan Rosenzweig. Zuckerberg had no formal search for a coup, but thought of Sandberg as a perfect fit for this role. In March 2008, Facebook announced hiring Sandberg away from Google for the role of coup. After joining the company Sandberg quickly began trying to figure out how to make Facebook profitable. Before she joined the company was primarily interested in building a really cool site. Profits they assumed would follow. By late spring Facebook's leadership had agreed to rely on advertising 
with the ads discreetly presented, by 2010 Facebook became profitable. According to Facebook, she oversees the firm's business operations including sales marketing business development, human resources, public policy and communications. In 2012 she became the eighth member of Facebook's board of directors. In April 2014, it was reported that Sandberg had sold over half of her shares in Facebook since the company went public. At the time of Facebook's IPO she held approximately 41 million shares in the company. After several rounds of sales she is left with around 17.2 million shares. A 0.5% stake in the company worth about $1 billion. Boards In 2009 Sandberg was named to the board of the Walt Disney Company. She also serves on the boards of Women for Women International, the Center for Global Development, and V-Day. She was previously a board member of Starbucks with a $280,000 annual salary, Brookings Institution and Ad Council. Other Work and Ventures In 2008 Sandberg wrote an article for the Huffington Post in support of her mentor Larry Summers who was under fire for his comments about women. She was a keynote speaker at the Jewish Community Federation's Business Leadership Council in 2010. In December 2010, she gave a TED speech titled Why We Have Too Few Women Leaders. In May 2011, she gave the commencement address at the Barnard College graduation ceremony. She spoke as the keynote speaker at the class day ceremony at the Harvard Business School in May 2012. In April 2013 she was the keynote speaker for Colgate University's second annual Entrepreneur Weekend. In 2015 she signed an open letter which the One campaign had been collecting signatures for. The letter was addressed to Angela Merkel and Gusazana de la Minizuma urging them to focus on women as they serve as the head of the G7 in Germany and the O in South Africa respectively which will start to set the priorities in development funding before a main UN summit in September 2015 that will establish new development goals for the generation. Lean In Sandberg released her first book Lean In, Women Work and the Will to Lead co-authored by Nell Scovel and published by Knopf on March 11, 2013. It is about business leadership and development issues with the lack of women in government and business leadership positions and feminism. As of the fall of 2013 the book sold more than 1 million copies and was on top of the bestseller list since its launch. Lean In is a book for professional women to help them achieve their career goals and for men who want to contribute to a more equitable society. The book argues that barriers are still preventing women from taking leadership roles in the workplace barriers such as discrimination blatant and subtle sexism and sexual harassment. Sandberg claims there are also barriers that women create for themselves through internalizing systematic discrimination and societal gender roles. Sandberg argues that in order for change to happen women need to break down these societal and personal barriers by striving for and achieving leadership roles. The ultimate goal is to encourage women to lean into positions of leadership because she believes that by having more female voices in positions of power there will be more equitable opportunities created for everyone. Criticism of the book include claims that Sandberg is too elitist, and another that she is tone deaf to the struggles faced by the average woman in the workplace. Sandberg addresses both of these issues in the introduction of her book stating that she is acutely aware that the vast majority of women are struggling to make ends meet and take care of their families and that her intention was to offer advice that would have been useful long before I had heard of Google or Facebook. Ban Bossy 
In March 2014 Sandberg and Lenin sponsored the controversial Ban Bossy campaign, a television and social media censorship advocacy campaign designed to ban the word bossy from general use due to its perceived harmful effect on young girls. Several video spots, with notable spokespersons including Beyoncé, Jennifer Garner, and Condoleezza Rice among others were produced along with a website providing school training material leadership tips and an online pledge form to which visitors can promise not to use the word. Cheryl Sandberg In November 2016 Sandberg renamed her Lean In Foundation to the Cheryl Sandberg. This new foundation will serve as an umbrella for Lean In org, and a new organization around her book Option B. Sandberg also transferred roughly $100 million in Facebook stock to fund the foundation and other charitable endeavors. Personal life Sandberg first married at age 24 and divorced a year later. In 2004 she married Dave Goldberg, then an executive with Yahoo and later CEO of SurveyMonkey. The couple has a son and a daughter. Sandberg and Goldberg frequently discuss being in a shared earning, shared parenting marriage. Sandberg also raised the issue of single parenting, conflicting strongly with professional and economic development in America. On May 1, 2015 Dave Goldberg died unexpectedly, and his death was originally reported as resulting from sustaining a head trauma falling from a treadmill while the couple was vacationing in Mexico. Sandberg has subsequently said that her husband's cause of death was due to an arrhythmia, and not due to falling from a treadmill. Sandberg lives in Menlo Park, California. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?